Determining the general purpose of your speech. Most speeches have one of the following general purposes. To inform, to persuade, to entertain, or to pay tribute. Some speeches may have other purposes. To introduce, to present, to accept, to inspire, or to eulogize. Before you begin to plan and prepare for your speech, decide its purpose. To inform. If an informative speech, you are concerned about giving new information to your listeners. You want your audience to understand and remember new information. To persuade. In a persuasive speech, you want your listeners to change their opinions, attitudes, or actions. To entertain. An entertaining speech is light, fun, and enjoyable. To introduce. A speech of introduction is designed for one speaker to introduce another to an audience. To present. A speech of presentation is designed to formally present an award or honor to another person in front of an audience. To accept. A speech of acceptance is made by a person who has received an honor or an award in front of an audience. To pay tribute. A speech of tribute praises or celebrates a person, group, institution, or event. It generally conveys love, gratitude, respect, or admiration. To inspire. The inspirational speech is given to move listeners to a higher level of feeling or activity. You want your listeners to feel uplifted or encouraged. To eulogize. The eulogy is a speech made in honor of someone who has died. Writing a general purpose statement is easy. A general purpose statement is only two words. The first word is always two, and the second word is your purpose. This completes this activity on determining the general purpose of your speech.